வெல்கம் டு சான அகாடமி பள்ளிக்கரணை கிளாஸ் சிக்ஸ் சோஷியல் சயின்ஸ் ஹாப்பி டே ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அ நெக்ஸ்ட் நியூ சாப்டர் ஃப்ரம் சோஷியல் அண்ட் பொலிட்டிக்கல் லைஃப் சாப்டர் நம்பர் சிக்ஸ் ரூரல் அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் டாபிக்ஸ் டு பி கவர்ட் ஆர் ஏரியா ஆஃப் தி போலீஸ் ஸ்டேஷன் த ஒர்க் ஆஃப் தி போலீஸ் ஸ்டேஷன் மெயின்டெனன்ஸ் ஆஃப் லேண்ட் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் தி கஸ்ரா ரெக்கார்ட் அ நியூ லா இம்போஸ்ட் There are more than 6 lakh villages in India. Taking care of their needs for water, electricity, road connections is not a small task. In addition to this, land records have to be maintained and conflicts too need to be dealt with. A large machinery is in place to deal with all this. In this chapter, we will look at the work of two rural administrative officers with some details. A Quarrel in the Village Mohan is a farmer his family owns a small agricultural field which they have been farming for many years next to his field is ragu's land which is separated from his by a small boundary called a band one morning mohan noticed that ragu had shifted the band by a few feet by doing so he had managed to take over some of mohan's land and increased the size of his own field mohan was very angry but also a little frightened ragu's family owned many fields and besides his uncle was also the sarpanch of the village but even so he plucked up courage and went to ragu's house a heated argument followed ragu refused to accept that he had moved the band he called one of his helpers and they began shouting at mohan and beating him up the neighbors heard the commotion and rushed to the spot where mohan was being beaten up they took him away he was badly hurt on his head and hand he was given first aid by one of his neighbors his friend who also ran the village post office suggested that they go to the pol- local police station and file a report others were doubtful if this was a good idea because they felt they would waste a lot of money and nothing would come out of it some people said that ragu's family would have already contacted the police station after much discussion it was decided that mohan would go to the police station along with some of the neighbors who had seen the incident one of the way to the on the way to the police station one of the neighbors asked why don't we spend some more money and go to the main police station in the town it is not a question of money we can register the case only in this police station because our village comes in its area of work explained mohan every police station has an area that comes under its control all persons in the area can report cases or inform the police about any theft accident injury fight etc it is responsibility of the police of that station to inquire to investigate and take action on the cases within its area the work at the police station when they reached the police station mohan went to the person in charge who is also called the station house officer or sho and told him what had happened he also said that he wanted to give the complaint in writing the sho rudely brushed him aside saying that he couldn't be bothered to waste his time writing down minor complaints and then investigating them mohan showed him his injuries but the sho did not believe him Mohan was puzzled and did not know what to do. He was not sure why his complaint was not being recorded. He went and called his neighbors into the office. They argued strongly that Mohan had been beaten up in front of them and had they not rescued him he would have been injured very seriously. They insisted that the case be registered. Finally the officer agreed. He asked Mohan to write down his complaint and also told the people that he would send a constable the next day to investigate the incident. maintenance of land records you saw that mohan and raku were arguing heatedly whether the common boundary of the fields had been shifted isn't there a way by which they could have settled this dispute in a peaceful manner are there records that show who owns the land in the village let's find out how this is done measuring land and keeping land records is the main work of the patwari the patwari is known by different names in different states in some villages such offices are called as lekpal in others kanungo or karamchari or village officer etc we will refer to this officer as patwari in this case each patwari is responsible for a group of villages the patwari maintains and updates the records of the village the map and the corresponding details from the register are a small part of the records kept by the patwari the patwari usually has ways of measuring agricultural fields in some places a long chain is used in the above instance the patwari would have measured both mohan's and ragu's fields and compared them with measurements on the map if they did not match then it would be clear that the boundary of the fields has been changed 
The Patwari is also responsible for organizing the collection of land revenue from the farmers and providing information to the government about the crops grown in this area. This is done for the records that are kept and this is why it's important for the Patwari to regularly update these records. Farmers may change the crops grown on their fields or someone may dig a well somewhere and keeping track of all this is the work of the revenue department of the government. Senior people in this department supervise the Patwari's work. All states in India are divided into districts. For managing matters relating to land, these districts are further subdivided. These subdivisions of a district are known by different names such as Thaisal, Taluka, etc. At the head is the district collector and under her or him are the revenue officers also known as Thaisaldas. They have to hear disputes. They also supervise the work of the Patwaris and ensure that records are properly kept and land revenue is collected. They make sure that the farmers can easily obtain a copy of their records, students can obtain their caste certificates, etc. The Tassel Das office is where land disputes are also heard. New Law Imposed A Daughter's Wish A daughter's wish, father inherited our house from his father and everyone says he will leave it to brother. But what about me and my mother? To expect a share in my father's home is not very womanly, I am told. But I really want a place of my own, not dowdy of silk and gold. This is about the new law imposed. Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005 Often when we think of farmers who own land, we think of men. Women are seen as people who work in the fields but not as people who own agricultural land. Till recently in some states, Hindu women did not get a share in the family's agricultural land. After the death of the father, his property was divided equally only among his sons. Recently, the law was changed. In the new law, sons, daughters and their mothers in Hindu families can get an equal share in the land. The same law will apply to all the states and union territories of the country. This law will benefit a large number of women. For example, Sudha is the eldest daughter of an agricultural family. She is married and lives in neighboring village. After her father's death, Sudha often comes to help her mother with the farming work. Her mother has asked the Patwari to transfer the land and enter her name along with the names of all the children in his record. Sudha's mother confidently organizes the farming with the help of younger brother and sister. Similarly, Sudha also lives with the assurance that if she ever has a problem, she can always depend upon her share of the land. Recap of the chapter It is important for the government to maintain proper land records. The land record work comes under the Revenue Department of the Government of India. The Patwari maintains land records and collects land revenue in a village. The Tasildar is a land revenue officer at the district level. He supervises the work of a Patwari. As per the Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005, women in India can get a share in the family's agricultural land. Thank you.